Are we saying that systemic and topical steroids are something that we could potentially and we should try to limit as much as possible in management plans? So systemic, absolutely. Yes, Uh, we want to limit that as much as possible. If altogether, that would be ideal, of course. And then when it comes to topical steroids, really tracking and monitoring how often you're needing them over time. Because if you're noticing that you're needing to use the topical steroids more frequently or using higher strength topical steroids, those are some of the signs that perhaps your eczema isn't getting better controlled and that your skin is becoming dependent on it. And so figuring out what other options there are that can minimize that dependency on the topical steroids is also really important. So Dr. Giaz, I think what you're alluding to are two different things, topical steroid withdrawal and also the rebound effect of systemic steroids. So can we talk about those two topics really quickly? Yeah, absolutely. I know in psoriasis, this is a very common aspect where if you're treating psoriasis flares with prednisone or systemic steroids, that there is a risk of rebound where the condition actually comes back worse. And so it just increases that importance of what is our long-term plan when using systemic steroids and being judicious. And it's really, really intended to be a bridge rather than, oh, this is my like long-term plan, especially because with eczema treatments, we have so many new options that are really targeted and are really focused on that specific pathway of inflammation and driving the condition that it really leads to minimal other side effects and an incredible ability to get eczema under control. 